Kathy Thomas, and joining me today will be chef owner of Adya at the Anaheim Packing House, Sachi Medra. And chef will show us delicious examples of her fresh and flavorful Indian cuisine. So welcome chef, tell me about your dishes. Thanks Kathy, we're making two dishes today. One is our masala papar, which has roasted corn and watermelon radishes, and the other is avocado raita. Oh, delicious. So far, we have three avocados and just about a spoonful or two of yogurt. And it, is that Greek yogurt? Yes. We should do this last okay. avocado. We're just going to scoop it out using a spoon. Now we're going to turn this on and we're going to let it go until the avocados are totally mashed and smooth. So I could have used a blender. I could have used a regular food processor. Absolutely. Okay. Basically, you're just looking for the avocados to be totally mashed and smooth. It looks like it's done. Okay. So we added the rest of the yogurt to the mm -hmm. bowl. Now we're going to add some chopped cilantro, a little bit of salt, a little bit of lime juice. This brightens the flavor as well as helps the avocado stay green. We're gonna roast some cumin. We wanna keep the heat on medium and okay. we use whole seeds. We just wanna let them get one shade darker brown and you'll also be able to smell them. Right, they get really fragrant. Yeah, we're gonna let that cool down a little bit before we grind it and then we're just gonna mix that all up. Where's your mixing? I'm salivating. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit green chili. We're gonna start with the base of the masala papad, which is the papadum. Papadum are wafers made of lentils. You can roast them on the stove. You can put them in the microwave. You can do them in the oven. I know that corn goes into this dish and you want it roasted. Yes. Now I know you like to do yours over a gas flame on the burner of your stove. Yes. But I often do it on my barbecue outside and I leave this on so that I kind of had a handle to, to turn think it that's with. that's perfect. Yeah. I love that. In the salad, we have our roasted corn. We have some diced cucumber. Mm -hmm. And we have these lovely watermelon radishes. Some cilantro. A little bit of minced serrano chili. And then some lime juice. Olive oil. And chopped masala which is a blend of about 13 different spices that can be found at most Indian stores. And a little bit more of that roasted cumin from before. Oh, it smells so good. Would I break off a piece Yeah, with my hand? Yeah, just like a tostada. And, and, and I just spoon on a little mm -hmm. of the A avocado little avocado mixture. right on top. And I've been having I think so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chef. a quick tip from Melissa's. I love quick pickles. These hurry up pickled turnips are a favorite. Start with one pound of medium small fresh turnips, cut off the root end and make a shallow trim at the bottom. I love this serrated peeler. I leave some of the purple at the bottom because it's just so darn pretty. Now I just cut it in half from top to bottom, then cut it into quarters and then just take those quarters and cut them into wedges. Now we just need to make our brine. A couple of cups of water, half a cup of cider vinegar, thinly sliced garlic, a little dried oregano, a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme, and a bay leaf, some whole coriander seeds, some fennel seeds. A tablespoon and a half of salt. A quarter cup, scant quarter cup of sugar. Oh, a pinch of dried chili flakes. And a little bit of olive oil. So I've got this on high heat. I'm going to bring it to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and add my turnip wedges. Then I'm going to add some beets for color. Now you can use canned beets if you like or fresh beets if you like. I like the ones that are cryovac that are sold in the refrigerated section of the market. Just going to stir that around one more time. 
and just simmer it for about eight minutes. These beauties are done. I'm gonna just pour them into this bowl and then I just cover the bowl after they cool with a plate and put them in the refrigerator overnight. So what do I like to do with these? I like to serve them with cold meats, cold cuts, pâtés, charcuterie. Absolutely delicious. Just like you would serve those beautiful cornichons, you would serve these pickled turnips. The fruit and vegetable aisles are filled with so much potential. Try something new. Have an adventure.